So it's Tuesday, Super Tuesday, and Bernie Sanders is out there, and Joe Biden's out there, and Bloomberg's out there. Obviously, you know that these are the three candidates. There's two other candidates, but they really don't matter. And we see the markets getting really jittery. And in that jitteriness, we recognize that there's a problem. And it's a big problem. A half a point was cut off of the interest rates today, creating a new margin. And that is a huge gift. Yet the markets are still down 650 points. The biggest problem is, is that because of the lending practices in the last three years, there's nobody to loan money to. And there's no extra homes because the housing market is at an all-time low for inventory. And a lot of people are still broke, even though they're working. Now, mind you, the unemployment rate is really nice and people have gotten raises. And the cost of living really hasn't raised up that much and gas prices are low. But poor is poor. And the American people are not going to feel the kickbacks of that half a percentage point. The major problem is, is the truth. And when Mike Pence was asked yesterday, will you take your family to Disneyland? And he didn't give an answer. That's really where we all should be at this point in time. It's not a matter of are we in a recession. It's a matter of have we staved off the recession that's occurring around the world for so long and artificially inflated the United States' economy with no new production and no new abilities. And now we have a huge bubble burst. And the bubble burst isn't a matter that people are getting sick because that's normal. People get sick all the time. It's not a matter that people are dying because every day you have a chance to die. It's a matter of when things were bad for our economy, things were made to be better than what they were. And now they're going to fall on their face. So I think that what's going to happen here is, is that there's going to be a lot of negotiations in the next few years. And we're going to see a change in the heart of the people. And I'm not sure if it's going to be so good. And I'm not going to be so sure if it's going to be so helpful either. But just remember this. The only conservative value left of the conservatives is the fact that you can pray. Prayer is free. It's one of those things that you can do wherever you are. And they can't take it from you. So if you can see what I'm seeing, then you know that about the only thing you can do right now is pray. Because it doesn't matter how much gold in the world you have if you have to weigh it against bread.